Good morning, ladies. How are you this morning? It is time to get up and look at the world with the right kind of glasses. Don't be looking at the world through darkness, through some story that you've told yourself last night before you went to bed that somehow made you wake up with some residue in the morning. This is your challenge today. I want you to Remember, we're piggybacking on the idea of the 80-20 principle, and I'm going to go into that more and more and teach you about that. But science proves, it is proven that certain things that we do every day have a much greater impact than all of the billion other things we do. So if you look at time and the things we've been talking about in regard to time, you can start to see with the principles I'm talking about. When we talk about the principle, right, of Parkinson's principle that, that time, a task will take the amount of time you give it. And what will happen is when you give a task an amount of time, like if you give yourself three months to accomplish something, what ends up happening is that we will fill in those three months with a bunch of bull malarkey that isn't even a, related to the thing that we want to accomplish to be filler in order to make it last that long. So I know that so many people and what we'll hear from the culture is don't be hard on yourself, take it slow, you have to be realistic. Well, if you're in this tribe, sisters, we're not doing that. I'm not doing that. I am kind to myself, but in these ways, because being kind to ourselves is not laying on the couch because we're a little tired. That's not necessarily kind. Yes, you want to listen to your body and lay on the couch if you're tired, but you do not want to do that as a cop out. You know, as my dear friend Kim says, it is an honest lie. So let me tumble back to what the hell even what was the challenge I started with. The challenge has to do with, I want you to pick every single day when you wake up. Yeah, this is for 24 hours, but I want this to become life practice every single day when you wake up, know what your three most important tasks are. I've talked about it before, but I want this to become like your right arm. When you wake up, it's right there. What are the three most important tasks that are going to bring you to the highest level at the end of the day, every day? I told you my kind of funny rule of thumb is, I make sure the thing that would bother me if I didn't finish it, that that thing is on the top of my list. I'm gonna make sure that that thing is accomplished so I can feel that unbelievable sense of um, accomplishment and feel good about myself at the end of the day. So the morning me considers the bedtime me. So the morning me is in charge of and makes decisions based on what's best for the bedtime me. This is your assignment. Pick three things, your, your most important tasks, every single morning when you wake up. Don't get lost in it. Oh my God, I have to do all these other things. It's, it's not like you can't do other things after that, but you wanna know what your number three priorities are for that day. It could be, wow, I really need to get some really close space time with my child. That's a good task. It doesn't mean that you're not going to do the dishes. It just means that no matter what, that shiitake is getting done, no matter what, and it's going to override the dishes. You get me? So now it could be, I'm going to complete this huge major task that I've been putting off forever. You know what? At the end of that, so that one day, maybe you're not gonna get the same amount of face time with your child, okay? Now, I'm not, I'm not against that. I, I think you, we have to do that. But once that's off your place, now you have an opportunity to show up well. There's something about showing up well. I'm gonna tell you the truth about work-life balance. It doesn't exist, okay? When I, if we're gonna do a principle, where we're gonna focus on one thing at a time, that's gonna be my next video. When you are fully head on with your child, you're nowhere else. So multitasking doesn't exist. Oops, I'm slipping into my other um, challenge for tomorrow. I'm gonna to stop talking. So first three 
most important tasks for today. That means these are the ones that you're not gonna feel like a winner at the end of the day if they're not done, okay? Write them down, but this is an everyday thing now. Ladies, we are graduating. We're graduating to this just being a like, oh, I'm just gonna do this for this 24 hours. We, we were bringing forth awareness. Now we're gonna do some awareness. We're gonna be shifting into like regular habitual action. I'll talk to you tomorrow.